Hey, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, what I want to do is show you how to go about replacing the trim pieces. As you can see, to start out, what I've done is extended the arms outward and then held on to the shoulder there and pulled it straight out. That is the proper way to pull the arms and legs away from the clip. Essentially align it with the clip and pull it outward. Once you do that, that releases enough tension so that you can grab onto the sockets and, uh, for those clips and just pull them out. If you don't have the finger strength for this, you can also try to use pliers. So that's how we get rid of all the, the clips. And then to insert them back in, I orient them uh, underneath the socket, just press in and then rotate outward. This way you can press with your index and thumb, like so, but you can also compress the piece with your other hand and release even more pressure so that it goes in even easier. You can see I'm just repeating this for all the other limbs. So now I'm going to move on to the H joint. Uh, it comes out most easiest when you turn the arm sideways, like so, and just pull it straight out. And that releases enough pressure so that you can just basically torque out the little H joint and remove it from the form. The order here is really important. And you want to go in reverse order when you insert the new one in. Now these can be pretty tight fitting and so you'll want to make sure the form goes in first and that you've aligned the hinge with the, the socket. So you may have to hold firmly onto each piece with both hands in order to do this. Once you do that, just orient the upper arm sideways and press it in and then do a couple turns just to break into the joint so that it can turn smoothly uh, later on when you operate the armature. So to pull out the feet, simply rotate them out or, or pull them out. And the toes you'll want to orient vertically or upward and that's their loosest position, then you should be able to just slide them out. And you go in reverse order with uh, the new pieces. You want to make sure the toes are oriented upwards, and then you insert, and then rotate them down. Then when inserting them onto the heel, just make sure that the, the widest point of the socket is aligned with the widest point of the ball joint itself and then just press them together. And again, if you don't have the finger strength for that, you could also use pliers. To remove the neck, make sure that you align that seam with one of the nubs on the upper part of the back and then extend out the head so that the neck is aiming backward and then just pull them out. Then you want to go in reverse order when inserting the new one in. Align the ball joint with the socket and you can use both hands to just press it into the head like I'm showing there. And then rotate it back out. Then to insert this onto the torso, make sure again that that seam or that opening is aligned with one of the nubs and wiggle it as you press it in and then do a few rotations to just break into the socket so that it rotates freely as you operate the armature. Now to insert these clips, insert one side first and then just press until the other side slides into the other socket and snaps into it. And then you want to rotate them up and down a few times just to break into the joint. And again, repeat the same process you'll find that these are pretty firmly fitted and so you'll want to make sure that one side is firmly uh, locked into one side so that you can press the other one into the other side. And just like that you've replaced the entire trim for your armature. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions uh, leave it in the comments or send me an email at store at digitaldouble.com. Thanks guys. Bye.